Japanese aircraft carrier Shokaku. The Second World War ushered in a new era of technological advances, especially in the realm of naval combat. For the first time in history, ships did not actually need to see one another in order to engage in battle. A new type of ship, the aircraft carrier, became the mainstay of naval forces around the world, and the carrier, Shokaku, was at the center of Japanese strategy for the Pacific theater. In the 1920s, Japan was a signatory of the Washington Naval Treaty, which was designed to limit the size and number of large capital ships able to be produced. As Imperial Japan adopted more expansionist policies, it could no longer abide by the restriction the treaty put in place, and in 1936, Japan left the treaty. That year, plans were drawn up for the first of a series of new aircraft carriers, which built upon lessons from earlier ships. In 1937, construction began on the Shokaku, which means flying crane, at the Yokosuka Naval Yards. Designers imagined a massive ship capable of carrying over 96 aircraft, though a smaller design, capable of holding 72, was settled upon. A year later, her sister ship, Zuikaku, or Lucky Crane, would also be launched, the only two of the class to be constructed. When finished, the Shokaku weighed in at 25,600 tons of displacement, with a length of 845 feet, a beam of 85 feet, and a height of 29 feet. She had a crew of 1,660 men and could carry 72 aircraft, including fighters, dive bombers, and torpedo planes, with enough spare parts for 12 more stored in two hangars. The Shokaku was propelled at a top speed of 34 knots by four Kampan steam turbines, capable of generating 160,000 horsepower. Ever dream of commanding the most legendary ships during epic naval conflicts? Welcome aboard World of Warships, where historical authenticity combines with adrenaline-pumping sea battles. Discover a fleet that spans from iconic World War vessels to conceptual ships resurrected from the drawing board for your virtual sailing pleasure. The game is always evolving. Every month brings new ships, nations, skins, and even entire new categories of vessels. It's like navigating a whole new ocean every month. The graphics are so realistic, sometimes I feel like I'm actually sailing. The visuals are jaw-dropping, with hyper-realistic water and changing weather conditions. You might just forget you're not actually on the seven seas. The community is alive and buzzing. Dive into in-game missions, tune into live streams, engage in forums and Discord channels, or even compete in tournaments. We're not just playing, we're a bona fide community. Catch us and the Sea Patrol clan on our Discord server, sailing towards victory. What's your battle plan? Whether you're at the helm of destroyers, cruisers, battleships, carriers, subs, the strategy is yours to create. Unlock your naval arsenal with the code WARSHIPS. You'll get yourself a free ship after 15 clashes, 500 doubloons, a whopping 2 million credits, and a 7-day premium account, among other perks. Are you ready to set sail? Click on the link below and embark on an unmatched maritime journey with World of Warships. Till we meet on the open water, future admirals. With a full fuel load of 3,500 tons, it had an operational range of 7,700 nautical miles while maintaining a cruising speed of 17 knots. The Shokaku was armed with eight twin mounts of 5-inch guns as well as 36 25mm anti-aircraft cannons. This number would expand to 96 25mm cannons in 1944. Other protection came in the form of 6.5 inches of armor plating at the waterline, around 5 inches around machinery areas, and the decks were protected by 4 inches of armor. The flight deck, however, was made from wood. After years of construction, the Shokaku was commissioned on August 8, 1941. After a brief shakedown cruise, the Shokaku joined the Carrier Division 5, part of the task force under the overall command of Admiral Yamamoto. Training began for the planned attack on American naval installations at the Hawaiian outpost of Pearl Harbor. On December 7, 1941, aircraft from the Shokaku, as well as five other carriers, attacked Pearl Harbor. Sending out two waves, the Shokaku's air group lost a single dive bomber during the attack. A third wave was planned but was called off, and the fleet then turned back towards Japan. After spending some time in home waters, the Shokaku was transferred to the island of Truk, which was used as a base of operations. In January 1942, she participated in a massive raid against Australian head Rabaul, a site of major strategic importance for the Japanese expansion into Papua New Guinea. 
after this raid, an American carrier group was detected operating near the Marshall Islands, and the Shokaku, along with another carrier, set off in pursuit, though the American flotilla was able to escape. In March and April, she participated in a major raid in the Indian Ocean. Along with several other carriers, she launched strikes against Colombo, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, and British cruisers HMS Cornwall and HMS Dorsetshire were sunk. Fearing for its safety, the British carrier HMS Hermes, with an escort group, attempted to withdraw from the area and was caught at sea. The Hermes, along with a corvette, destroyer, and two tankers were sunk, dealing a crippling blow to the British fleet in the Indian Ocean. After a brief return to truck, the Shokaku was back in action, this time supporting the planned invasion of Port Moresby on Papua New Guinea, along with her sister ship, the Zuikaku, and the smaller light carrier, Shoho, as well as escorts. American intelligence had broken the Japanese naval code and knew of the plan, prompting Admiral Chester Nimitz to send the carriers Lexington and Yorktown to intercept the Japanese before they reached Port Moresby. From May 4th to the 8th, 1942, both fleets clashed at the Battle of the Coral Sea, the first naval battle in history where ships of neither fleet were in visual range of one another. During the battle, aircraft from the Shokaku contributed to the sinking of the Lexington, as well as damaging the Yorktown, along with a destroyer and oiler. The Japanese lost the Shoho, a destroyer, and several other supporting ships. The Shokaku was struck by three bombs from American dive bombers, severely damaging the ship and killing or wounding 223 sailors. Damage control teams were able to contain the fires that broke out on the vessel, and the Shokaku made her way back to Japan for repairs. The damage prevented her from participating in the Battle of Midway, which reduced the forces available for that decisive confrontation. In August 1942, the Shokaku was back at sea, this time attempting to disrupt the American landing on Guadalcanal. Once again, operating with the Zuikaku and a light carrier, she engaged a fleet of three American carriers during the Battle of the Eastern Solomons. Though the Shokaku received no damage during the fighting, she lost 10 dive bombers and five fighters along with their air crews, which contributed to mounting losses for Japanese naval aviation. The Shokaku returned to truck before participating in the Battle of Santa Cruz Islands on October 26. During the clash, dive bombers from the USS Hornet would strike the Shokaku with between three and six bombs, causing severe damage and killing a large portion of the crew forcing her to withdraw to truck before returning to Japan for repairs. It wasn't until May 1943 when she was back in action again, participating in a failed attempt to assault the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, and spent most of the year in truck before being transferred to Singapore in 1944. In June of 1944, she sailed to the Marianas Islands to oppose the American invasion. By June 15th, American submarines patrolling in the area had spotted the Japanese fleet and were monitoring their movements. By the 19th, the Japanese were in range of American forces, and the Shokaku and her fellow carriers launched their aircraft. In the Battle of the Philippine Sea, also known as the Great Marianas Turkey Shoot, hundreds of Japanese aircraft would be shot down, permanently crippling Japanese naval aviation for the rest of the war. As the Shokaku was refueling and rearming her surviving aircraft, she was spotted by the submarine, the USS Kavala. For a half an hour, the Kavala stalked the Shokaku, keeping a close eye on a nearby destroyer and two cruiser escorts. Once the way was clear, the submarine launched a spread of six torpedoes at a range of 1,200 yards. Lookouts on the Shokaku called out a warning, and her commander, Captain Hiroshi Matsubara, ordered evasive action. But it was too late. Three or four of the torpedoes struck the ship on the starboard side, forward and amidships. While the Kavala made her escape, pursued by Japanese destroyers, the Shokaku's crew tried to repair the damage. In spite of their experience, the damage control parties were unable to control the spreading flames, which were accelerating due to the aviation fuel that was on deck. Torpedoes and bombs began to explode, and the ship began to list to starboard as she took on water, particularly in the starboard boiler rooms. With more ammunition exploding, power went out, meaning the pumps that bailed out water failed to operate. With the Shokaku dead in the water, firefighters resorted to bucket brigades to douse the flames to no avail. 
After three hours, the flames were spreading out of control, with fires leaping from the elevators onto the flight deck, and the order was given to abandon ship. Before they could leave, however, a series of explosions caused major flooding of the bow, sending her stern skyward, causing some crew to slide into the still-burning hangar deck, while others were thrown overboard into the oil-laden water. Captain Matsubara and 570 survivors were picked up by escorting cruisers and destroyers, while the Shokaku and 1,272 of her crew sank to their final resting place on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The loss of the Shokaku and her experienced crew were a devastating blow to the Japanese war effort. In her short service, she represented the pinnacle of Japanese naval strength and her loss symbolic of Japanese fortunes in the war.